Let's go over how to put restrictions on lengths using formulas. This has a whole host of applications as manufacturers will have limitations to how large they can manufacture their product. To show you how to do this, I'm going to use a very simplistic bench model and I'm going to add two formulas to set up a maximum and a minimum length. Let's get into it. At the moment, I've got an EQ dimension, which is constraining this geometry left and right of the center line. I'm going to create another dimension. And this length here is going to be a parameter. And I'm going to call this length control. And make that instance. In our family types dialog here, I'm going to create a couple of additional parameters. One will be max, which will represent the maximum value. And that's going to be an instance. And then exactly the same for the minimum. So we'll call this one min for short. Again, instance parameter and click OK. Within these two boxes, I can define the maximum and minimum values. So for maximum, I'm going to put 3,500 and minimum, I'm going to put 700. What these two values will do will allow the designer to operate within these constraints. So it can't go below minimum and it can't go above maximum. But just as its own, it doesn't really work yet. So what we have to do is do a new parameter and call it length. Now this is the part where the designer will have, can input their value in. And again, we'll create that as an instance parameter and click OK. Now within the length control formula here, we type the following. If open bracket lengths less than min, comma, min, comma, if open bracket length greater than max, comma, max, comma, length, two close brackets. Okay, so let's have a look at what that is doing. So it's saying if this length is less than minimum, then make it minimum. If the length is greater than maximum, then make it maximum. And basically, if none of those things happen, then just make it the length. Okay, so the designer can put in their length using this, this tab here, length. So say he wants to add 900 and it operates within those maximum and minimum values. But say if he puts in something like 400, then you can see there it goes to the default 700 or the minimum value. Same is true with the, if I put in 4,000, it's going to be limited at that 3,500. There you go. I hope that was a helpful tip. For more quick Revit tutorials, please subscribe. Thanks.